What it do, what it do, it's you know who, money, Street Force Monster. Today you guys are watching a brand new gameplay video. This is the game Paladins. I hope you guys have clicked this video up because you want to see some great ruckus gameplay because you want to know why I'm enjoying this game so much because you want to see some serious shooting action. Paladins is loaded with action. You're going to say, I don't like the cartoony games. Well, you know what? As cartoony as this game is, I really enjoy the fast-paced, up-in-your-face, really need to be a team to win action you get in this game. So, to start off, this is a dominating ruckus gameplay. The beginning is not as dominating. I'm going to give you guys some tips. I'm going to explain some things you'll see in this video. So, the character Ruckus, he's a frontline guy. He's meant to serve as a guy to draw some damage, a guy to put some damage out. That's what he's for. But as you can see in these early opening pushes to capture this objective, it's the first team to capture the objective. And once you capture the objective, you get a point. The first team to four points wins, right? So you get a, a point for capturing the objective. And when you capture it, it turns into a, tr a train that you have to move. If you move it all the way to where it needs to be moved, you get another point. If you keep the team from moving it to where it needs to be moved, that team gets a point. So, you can see the enemy team captured the objective first. They got one point out of four. They're one out of four away from winning. Now, if they can push this train into our spawn, they'll get another point. And we're going to try to keep them from doing that. So, what we're doing wrong right now is we're not group pushing. We're not staying up as a group. Currently, at this very second you're watching, we're up as a group. We've got our healer, we've got our shield, got myself, and you can see our healer went down, our shield went down, I went down. Ruckus isn't really that great of a shielding player, only because his shield, his main shield, only helps himself. He's got an ability where he'll give a shield to teammates, like if you can kind of see off to the right, the little blue circles around my teammates, that's me giving them a shield. But that doesn't last for very long. That lasts like three seconds maybe. It's a very short shield. But um, Ruckus is more of a, I'm going to put damage on you in a hurry. He just has these automatic turrets on top of his mech that just shoot for days. For days. And they put damage out for days. So at the very beginning of this video, you see me trying, along with my team, to capture the first point. We couldn't do it because we kept dying. And then every time you die, you've got to ride back out onto a, on a horse to this point where you need to either stop them from moving forward or to the point where you need to capture the, the opening objective. And what was happening is we would die like two or three seconds apart from each other. So every time it would end up I would run in there by myself, I wouldn't have a healer there with me, and I would just drop dead. My healer would run in there by himself, he doesn't have enough damage to put on the guys, so he would drop dead. And it was pretty much like a 5 on 1, 5 on 2 every time. And finally we started to click. Finally we started to play together as a team, we started to make pushes as a team, and we started to go ham sauce. I started to try to stay alive more as Ruckus. I started to play better as Ruckus. Like you see my health is almost completely gone. I'm backing up. I'm taking cover. I'm letting my healers get, get some get some healing going. You see my health start to regenerate. You can also see in the bottom left corner that I'm currently on a 10 streak, 11 streak. And the game just said I am unstoppable. The streak counts both assists and solo kills. And all this tile while we're playing, while you see we're on fire, we're shooting bullets, we're getting healed, we got shielders, constant communication going on in this game. I believe I'm currently playing with two, maybe three other people in my party, and we're just saying, you know, there's a guy here, there's this person here, there's this person here, 
in this game, there's different classes. There's frontline, which I am, which shielders are. There's support, which are healers. There's, like you see me getting health. There's damage players, which are the guys that put out the big damage. And there's flankers, the kind that have not a lot of health, but like this right here that I'm shooting at, she's a flanker. She's supposed to get behind you and clear you out so you're not just sitting there on the objective, obliterating faces. And if you have a good group, a good team, you have a frontline guy, you have a good healer, you have a good damage player, the right mix of people will help making will help make the game go easier. Right there I just hit an immortal with Ruckus. You see my health is going down. I'm so close to death I jump into this little pool of health. That was from one of my teammates. His ability is he kind of suits like an acid pool on the ground. It heals my team, it damages their team. So that was a healer doing his job, giving me health. And it lets me keep going forward. It lets me keep putting damage on the enemy consistently. You can see there's another teammate right there in front of me. He's got a shield. I'm standing behind a shield. And I'm just putting as much damage as I can on the enemies. So we can keep pushing this tank, train, cart thing forward. We're getting close to their spawn. The timer's getting close to being down. Our job is to stay alive, keep the healers alive, and keep the process and the cycle going forward. Tons of action in this game. I love this game because you're just constantly shooting at people and looking around to kill people. That's what makes it so fun. Like right now, we're getting close to getting this tank in this, into the hole. The enemy team is, they're all dead right now. They're spawning, you can see. I'll point it out next round because this push was successful. So we just got a point for the capture and a point for successfully pushing it into the circle. So now we're at three because our first point was stopping them when they captured it in the first round. I'm also going to point something out right now that if you've never played this game, you wouldn't know. When somebody dies on the top left and on the top right of the, the scoreboard in the middle, you'll see a character emblem floating towards the middle. That's how soon the next player will be able to come back in. So you can see in the top right, the enemy just about had a team. They just had a guy spawn. Right now, they got two people waiting to come in. One's about to spawn back in. Right now, one just spawned back in, and another one's about to spawn back in. Right now, and when they spray right now, and when they spawn in, you know that that character's in the, the field of game. You know they're there to play, and they're there to, to do damage to you. They're there to try to take the objective, and. We just won. We just capped the last point. That was four out of four. And as a player, you got to keep conscious of who's on the field, who you need to go after, who you need to look out for. And it also helps you with your own team. Let's say you die, you can see who's coming in and when they're coming in. So you could wait to push together as a team and try to move forward and win the game. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I had me a godlike annihilation, massive streak with Ruckus. The guys got crazy mech with tons of crazy guns. We won four to one. They had the opening point and that was it. We started playing as a group, as a unit, started calling out more. Give this game a try, guys. It's a free game. It's currently in an open beta, so they're switching things up here and there. But it's free. It's fun. I'm having a blast with it. I'm going to be posting more games of it. You might see me streaming it. You might see me grab games from my stream and post those up separate. I'm going to archive my streams so they won't be clogging up my channel. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, smash the like button. Give the game a try. Give the videos a watch. You might learn something. You might like it. You might grow to be like, damn, this game is sick. I don't know. Anyways, I'll catch you guys on the next one. See ya.